happening down at Taunton and across the North Sea into Amsterdam there this afternoon. Both uh, venues unaffected by the weather, I would have thought. And they're doing very well to complete their day's play because you can see there are a number of fronts loitering close to the British Isles just at the moment and a moist southwesterly flow. So no great surprises if I show you that many of these northern and western coastal fringes of the British Isles I like to see a fair amount of cloud and odd bits and pieces of drizzle as we move on through the afternoon. But further east away from those coastal fringes, that's where we're going to see the best of the sunshine and it really is going to lift the temperatures quite markedly towards 21 degrees not only in the southeast but also up on the eastern coast of Scotland. Now where the sunshine breaks through, do be careful, even at this time of year it can be really quite fierce. We're looking at a 5 or 6 sun index down in the south. No such problems though towards the north and west underneath all that cloud and rain and it looks as though the cloud and rain will become even more organised through the course of tonight as another pulse of wet weather moves in across the Western Isles and the far northwest of Scotland. And that's also associated with a front which will be lying close to these northern and western areas through the start of Thursday. And just bear this low pressure to here down in Biscay in mind as well. That will have an effect on the south. No great problems for much of England and Wales to start off the day. The Irish Sea coast really quite gloomy for a time, as indeed will be the north and west. And then come the afternoon, things clouding over in the far south as some thunderstorms begin to brew up across the channel. Quite a warm day in prospect, and that's going to be the way of it over the next few days. Certainly across many central and southern parts of the British Isles, we're looking at some very warm temperatures indeed. Further north, something slightly cooler. As we move on through towards uh, Friday and the weekend, well, low pressure tending to dominate, giving a very unsettled look. And then by Saturday, so high pressure just trying to dominate the scene, particularly across the northern parts of the British Isles. Those thunderstorms move away from the south coast. We move on through the next couple of days, moving further towards the north. And then by Saturday, just a little bit of sunshine creeping into the north of Scotland, but more unsettled weather through Sunday and Monday. Bye-bye.